Hey guys, I was tagged by the Crazy Scotsman, or his channel's called The Scottish American now, but he'll always be known as the Crazy Scotsman to me. Uh, he tagged me to do a video for the, uh, the hashtag My First Gun for Lakeview series that's been going on lately. I'm sure you've all seen these videos happen in the last week or so um, and I will be completely transparent I have no idea who Lakeview is but from all of the videos that I have watched um, I guess he's the family member his wife has had some medical issues and the bills the medical bills are building up and this is kind of a an effort to bring awareness to what's happening and there's a fundraising going on as well. Now, uh, Jamie at the uh, JH586 JH channel did the original video for this. I will link it down below. He'll be able to explain it better than I do. And then the Scotsman is heading up the uh, uh, fundraising effort on this and I will link his videos down below too if you, you're interested in, in helping out but um, the the video what the video is about is our first gun I started out in life uh, well with firearms I should say late in life it was just not that long ago in 2006 I acquired my first firearm and, and that's only because my father passed away at the time. I wasn't never uh, raised around firearms. My dad always had firearms, but as children, we never saw them. They were always put away. We never saw his firearms at all. Um, but when he passed away in 2006, I guess he had a pretty nice collection. I never saw his collection. Uh, when he passed away, he uh, had actually left his firearm collection to one of my older brothers. And my brother was kind enough to offer a firearm to me. And I knew absolutely nothing about guns at, back then at all. I was uh, completely in the dark about them. Um, now, I did not get to actually see his collection to pick and choose out of it uh, because well I don't know the reason <laughs> they, my brother just asked me what I wanted so the only thing I really knew about firearms was 9mm I said does he have a 9mm said, yeah okay I'll take that sight unseen didn't know what it was so this is what I got it's a Taurus PT-92 and this is unloaded empty mag empty chamber uh, the way it sits is not the way I, I got it the this gun actually I don't know how exactly how old it is or how long my dad owned it but it, it looked brand new there wasn't a mark on it there wasn't a scratch or any kind of blemishes there was absolutely nothing everything was brand new and shiny and and I don't even know if maybe he put a box of ammo through it I, I haven't a clue um, my, my parents got divorced when I was a, a child so I, I didn't know about you know his his gun collections or, or how much he shot or anything uh, at all but uh, when I received this, it had wooden grips on it. And I want to say they're uh, almost, they were a lighter color grip, kind of like a white oak or, it's been a while since I've seen them. I, I have them in my, uh, my uh, gun parts bin. Um, they may have even had a little hint of red, like if they were cherry or something. I really, I really don't don't recall right right at the moment. But they were extremely thick, um, and it was just it was too 
uncomfortable for me to grip onto. I mean, it, it, it was wider than a Glock. And you guys that have shot Glocks, you know how wide those damn things are. So, uh, those grips didn't stay on this thing for very long. I actually purchased a set of rugger, rubber Hogue grips for it. And those were on this for most of its life, or you know, as long as I've owned it. Up until about three years ago, I found these G10 um, snow camo grips for it. And I liked them. I purchased it and put it on here, and I love the way that looks. Just that contrasting color. I really like it. Uh, but this this was my first gun, the Taurus PT-92, and I shot the fire out of this thing. It was the only gun I owned for the first year of uh, my gun ownership. Uh, when my dad had passed away, he passed away in, in May. Well, I did not t actually take possession of this until December. Um, being that I did not have a safe, uh, both of my older brothers are, are in, were into guns and, you know, they knew you know, keep them locked up, you know, the safety and all that stuff, which I knew absolutely nothing about. So my, my brother told me I will keep it in my safe until you have a safe place to keep it. Well, uh, my birthday come rolling up in December and my brother calls me and he says, hey, I want to teach you how to shoot for your birthday. So we went to the range. We actually spent eight hours at the range just shooting a variety of guns. And from that day on, I've been hooked. It, it, that started my journey into firearms. Um, and the, the rest is history, I guess, as they say. <laughs> so this was the firearm that started my obsession. And I have quite a few now. This was the only gun I owned for the first year because the following year on my birthday, I actually bought myself a, a 22. It was a Browning Buckmark Camper. And so every three months we had gun shows around here. And the Crossroads of the West Gun Show, I would go down there to the gun show and uh, there was a quite a large ammunition dealer down there at the gun show and they sold factory reloads and I would buy thousand round ammo cans uh, full of reloads and I would shoot a thousand rounds every three months. I'd go through them no problem because I was going to the range at least once a week back then. Sometimes twice a week but I just shot the fire out of this thing. I would estimate that this has probably 12,000 rounds through it and never had one hiccup with it. This thing has just been a very reliable firearm. Um, now it doesn't get shot as much anymore because, well, I have more firearms in my collection, but uh, this is, this has a, uh, uh, an ambi safety here which also doubles as a hammer uh, decocker so I'll pull down on it this side decox it and then push it up and, and the safety works much like a 1911 and it's just been a fantastic gun I love this thing I know Taurus has uh, kind of a so-so reputation of being reliable firearms, but I can tell you this one, not one issue since I've owned it in 2006. So there you go. I know this was kind of a long video and I apologize for that, but uh, I just wanted to tell that story. So there it is. Like I said, I will put the links to uh, those other guys' videos down below if, you, if you're interested in checking it out. And that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching, and we will talk to you later.